Cancer genomic alterations have been targeted to therapeutical interventionism. In the last decade, besides genomic alterations, also epigenomic alterations have been targeted as clinical therapeutical strategies. Then, the Food and Drug Administration of U.S. has approved five epigenetic inhibitors in the treatment of two hematologic malignancies. This epidrug corresponds to the first generation of epigenetic inhibitors. Their anti-cancer therapeutical schemes have obtained modest but significant clinical results. Solid tumors are more complex and than hematologic malignancies, considering many genetic and epigenetic characteristics. Also, solid tumor aberrations profiles may be modified using specific epidrugs. In this critical mini-review, we briefly analyzed the strategies for selecting targeted epigenetic alterations. We enumerate the second generation of epigenetic inhibitors and describe the main signs that pay the potential of epigenetic therapies for the management of solid tumors. Epigenetic enzymes are often dysregulated in human humors through mutation, altered expression, or inappropriate recruitment to certain loci. The identification of these enzymes and their partnered proteins have driven the rapid development of small molecule inhibitors that target the cancer epigenome. A growing area is the development of a second generation of epigenetic inhibitors, which have a sufficient preclinical therapeutic index to allow clinical evaluation. The main of these epigenetic inhibitors correspond to the development of exciting new inhibitor drugs that target reader, writer, and eraser histones as modulators of histone methyltransferases, histone demethylases, acetyl lysine histone readers. Pathophysiological aberrations in solid tumor types may be suspected, considering the biological behavior of clinical history, the histopathologic image subtype, and basically, the genomic, epigenomic, and transcriptomic profile. We discuss some specific clinical examples. In the years to come, the identification of somatic-related gene alterations highlighting epigenetic deregulation may be possible for many cancer types. And in the same way as the successful development of, of currently used targeted protein kinase inhibitors, the possibility of developing personalized epigenetic medicine will be achieved.